Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the trim code number 1244-6. This item is a straight roller uh, bumper or roller stop. Um, I would certainly call it a stop rather than a bumper, even though it acts as a bumper in the sense that it will, you know, work on the door that it's uh, making contact with in a bumper sort of fashion. Contact, something gets pushed, pushed out of the way. But it is a roller stop is what it is. Um, this is a straight roller stop. <laughs> Captain Obvious. Uh, they make two sizes of straight roller stops, about four inch and then about six and a half inch. Okay. There are also curved roller stops as well, which are for typically used for different applications, um, meaning where you have doors that swing in and out, uh, swing in a particular direction. Um, Trimco does not necessarily give us a outline as to how, and, or I should say, uh, which one you would work or use in particular, but we'll go over that now. Um, in a straight application, you're generally going to see two doors that swing to each other on a corner into each other. So one left hand door and one right hand door. In your mind's eye, imagine two doors that open into a single space. Or imagine that one door goes into the space and then as you go in and close that door, there's another door inside of that space. So the application for purposes of this video is as follows. You're going to have two doors, one left hand and one right hand. If you have two doors that are of the same swing, you, want a general, you generally will want a curved style roller stop. But if you have a left hand and a right hand door that are acting in terms of making contact with each other, Straight's the idea. Here's the application. You have a, a, you have a commercial application. You have a coffee shop, a national chain coffee shop. You walk into the restroom. It's a right-hand door. Okay, you go into the restroom. You close the door. If you were to then turn. There, and now imagine another door hinges on the right that swings towards you. We're going to call that a right hand reverse, but for purposes of this video, think of it as a left hand. So you've got a right hand door going into the bathroom. Then when you turn and look, you've got a you've got a right hand reverse or a left hand door turning towards you. So the point is, is if that interior door was left ajar, um, and the primary door opens. The primary door will make contact with the tip of the roller latch, allowing the interior door to get pushed closed. So that's a, that layout is very common in a residential application. It's just you're not going to see hardware like this necessarily on residential doors. But the application in a residential is when you walk into a bathroom in the home, you close that door and there's, then there's a little linen closet. So, you know, the linen closet gets left open constantly, the bathroom door is pulled closed, door is opened, the back of the knob hits the face of the door, the veneer cracks the veneer, at least damages the paint if it's painted, etc. Uh, so that would be a typical application where you would see that. You could also certainly have, you know, a, uh, uh, two rooms entering a common area, like maybe a kitchenette sort of situation, one of each hand. So a straight roller bumper is going to be really typical for that. Okay, installing it onto one or the other, you know, you're going to want to, are, you know, get both of the doors moving, and then determine the right position for this roller bumper or roller stop to be placed generally up at the top of the door. You're going to need to confirm that the six and a half inch length, and we'll go over the size in a moment, is the proper size. I don't think you need to order the six and a half regardless. If the shorter version is going to work, I would order the shorter version. And what will dictate that is going to be the projection of the trim on the door. 
There is a link below this video to a document called Product Brochure where we can scroll down and find the two options, the straight and the curved. It's four and a quarter on the 1244 model number. Then it's six inch, they call it, on the 1244-6. I'm not sure why we've got a six and a half inch dimension thrown in. Let's take some dimensional properties now. That's your overall length, and that's where six and a half is going to come in. But the six inch is from the back to the center of the um, roll pin that's holding the roller in. Now the base diameter is two inch, according to the manufacturer. Indeed, that's the case. Okay. This is a piece of cast brass. This is a piece of solid brass. That's all brass, except that piece of steel roll pin that's in there that's holding the bumper. And then, of course, that rubber bumper. Uh, you're going to get three screws for mounting it. Those are certainly not brass, and that's probably not a bad thing that they're not brass. Okay. Now, uh, we've talked about where you're going to use it. Uh, use the shorter one if necessary. You don't want to have excessive hardware hanging off the door unless it's absolutely necessary. This is going to be available in all of the colors, basically, that, uh, that one would expect on architectural hardware. This is 626. That's satin chromium plated. 626 is known as the most durable, is the most durable finish, artificial finish, uh, when it's, you know, plating or some sort of process over a base material like brass or bronze. When it's 626, that number specifically tells us it's made of solid brass. So if you had something made of steel and it was satin chrome plated, you wouldn't call it 626. You'd actually call it 652. That means steel with a satin chrome. So 626 tells us not only is it made of solid brass, not nothing else, and that it's in a satin chrome finish. Okay. Being Trimco, they could certainly make this in practically any finish that you require, you know, if you want antique nickel, yeah, Trimco can do that. They are a custom, they're a manufacturer of high quality trim and auxiliary hardware. Uh, they um, will supply this, just speaking of the finishes again, and any finish that you really need, the stock finishes are, or the, the typical finishes, not stock. Most things are not stock with Trimco, they're made to order. They have that casting on hand that they'll need to manufacture the order uh, upon receipt. Um, the brasses, the bronze, the chromes, the oil rubbed bra uh, bronze, your satin, your polished, all of that's going to be available from Trimco. Uh, there is uh, that link to the product catalog that's down below, but then also you're going to see um, in that link other trim and auxiliary items that are under the umbrella of doorstops. Door stops and holders can be seen there as well. So you'll probably want to familiarize yourself with that catalog. Uh, there might be something in there that's worthwhile. Then there is a link to a document called Template, and that's going to give you all of the dimensional properties for the items as we've discussed. The way to, not the, the way to remember, but the difference between, again, the straight or the curved, the straight's going to have one, a door of each hand, one left and one right. Um, the curved will be where you have two doors that have the same handing like a left-hand door on that wall and then another left-hand door that swings into it. You will notice if you try to make a straight work on an application that requires a curved, you really don't make a lot of contact between the two doors before you're already having unintentional, undesirable contact of the trim itself. You don't want to damage a door. And if it's a fire-rated door, you damage it enough like a wood fire-rated door. Um, you know, uh, you can do surface repair to a door with like material. But if it's damaged down to the mineral core, you get into a situation where no repair is suitable for a fire-rated door. Then there's a document called Product Maintenance, which is a generic blanket document from the manufacturer regarding how to process or how to maintain some of their finishes. And there's nicely a link to the replacement bumper that is down below. Uh, if you expect substantial use on this, uh, you might order a replacement bumper. Um, but replacement bumpers for roller stops are pretty uncommon. You'll see replacement bumpers for coordinators, uh, roller latches um, requested, but but not not so much roller stops, uh, or roller roller stops or roller bumpers. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page, where you can pull up not only all of the Trimco products that we sell but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. Any questions on the Trimco, this is their part number 1244-6.
a six inch straight projection roller bumper or any other Trimco product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.